Sometimes when you're mailing a card to someone, you want to modify the envelope. I'll show you how to do that with three different examples. First, I'll go to Saved Projects and select a card that has already been created for a spouse using the Mail Merge tool in the studio. Here's the front, and here is the text inside. I've already added the spouse's name right here. The way I do that is by using the Mail Merge tool, which is right over here. I'll select Spouse Name. Now I want to send this card to my customer's spouse for her birthday. The way you do that is you go to Mailing, then Add a Recipient. Then let's say I'm going to send this card to Bob's spouse. If I click on Bob's name, I can see over here I have entered Bob's spouse's name in this section. Her name is Mary. Since Mary's name is in Bob's contact information, I'm going to change it on the envelope. So I'll click Yes next to Bob's name and then advance to the Proof page. You can see down here Bob's name is listed in the envelope details. To change it is easy. I just click Yes next to Use the Spouse Name. Then it quickly changes the name on the envelope to Mary, and you're ready to approve the print and recipient and check out. That's example number one. Pixingo will notice you used Spouse Name with the Mail Merge tool and then give you the option to change it down here on the envelope. All right, let's look at another example. Let's say I wanted to send a thank you card to both spouses for recently making a donation. I'll open up this card from my saved projects. Here is the front, and on the inside I've used the mail merge tool again. I've added the first name and the spouse name, and here's the rest of the text. My next step is to click on mailing, then add recipients. And let's say that Emily Arnold is the primary contact for this donation. I'll select her name and I make sure I say yes right here. Okay, now notice that Emily has a spouse and his name is Ron. I want to acknowledge both of them on the envelope. I click on Proof. Down here, it displays the contact's address information for the envelope. But in this case, I wanted to acknowledge Emily and her spouse. So I click the green Yes next to Use Spouse and First Name. It will instantly place both names on the envelope details. You're ready to approve the print and recipients and advance to checkout. Let's do one final custom envelope example. Let's just say that you want to send a feel better card from your saved projects to a really good friend, someone you've known for a long time. Let's open up this card. Notice the text is a bit more personal. It has her name inside the card. I'm not using the mail merge tool. When I send this card to her, I'm going to modify the name on the envelope to fit the occasion. I'll click on Mailing Add Recipient. Her name is Sherry. Click Yes next to her name, then go to the Proof page. Since I'm not using the Mail Merge tool, you will notice down here there is an Edit Envelope icon. When you click on it, you can actually change the name on the envelope. Maybe in this situation, I'll use an encouraging nickname, like Wonder Woman. We want her to get better and suddenly tell her that she has superhuman powers. Then click Save. Now you will see her name change to Wonder Woman on the envelope along with her address. That's how you modify the envelope for any situation. Just remember, if you're using the Mail Merge tool, it will automatically pick up the option to drop in the first name or the spouse's name or both names, but you must click Yes to accept the change. If you're not using the Mail Merge tool, you may click on this Edit Box icon down here and change the name to whatever you want. Remember, the option of changing the envelope is available only if you have a wholesale account, so make sure you have one. 
One last final note. When entering a spouse name in the details of a contact, if the spouse has a different last name, enter both the first and last name with a space in the middle. Pixingo's logic will mail merge only the first name inside the card and pick up the first and last name for the envelope. Okay, thank you for using Pixingo.